Hey Code Poets and welcome to the channel. If you have worked with GitHub Copilot before and you wish that there was a set of instructions that your Copilot followed, then the wait is no longer needed. With custom instructions, you can do that directly from your VS Code Insiders version. So in your VS Code Insiders version, open your settings. You can do that with the shortcut comma, uh, control comma or command comma, and then look for instructions for GitHub Copilot and make sure it's checked. Once that's done, create a folder called that GitHub, and then inside that folder, create a file called copilot-instructions.md. Inside it, let's give it a set of instructions. So the first one, I'm asking it to use TypeScript as my language of choice. The second bullet point talks about if asked to create a web API to use the Dino 2. And then last but not least, for each code block that's generated, I want a test case for it. Here we are going to be using the new Copilot experience that allows for multi-line editing. And I'm going to be asking Copilot to create a web API that handles math operations. So I'll do that and I press enter. And then you can see that Copilot thinks about it for a little bit. And it went ahead and created a main.ts file that's using Dino as the runtime of choice and TypeScript. This is following the instructions to the T. Not only did that, it also created a main underscore test.ts file for us to test the entire application. This is mind boggling. So imagine now what you can do with your organization. You can ask it to install certain libraries and avoid uh, some others. You can ask it to do four indents instead of two. I'm not going to judge you for any of that. But here you can see that Copilot is also a Copilot. It made the mistake of forgetting to export my app. So I had to fix that. Next, I'm going to ask it to help me run the main.ts file and the minute or the moment I entered that it gave me a command that I could run directly from the terminal so I pressed it and um, as you can see here it entered it to my terminal and to my surprise I don't have Dino installed in this terminal. So what I'll do I'll prompt copilot like or I copy and paste it and then copilot immediately knew what to do next. It provided me with the script to download Dino and install it. So I did that and then you can see that it's going through the download and a Dino package is going to ask me whether I want to add it to uh, add the path to my bash and I would say yes. So it will think about it for a second and then once it's done, Copilot has already given me all the steps that are needed to refresh my terminal and have Dino ready to run. So this is amazing because now I can just run Dino-V and then I can see that Dino 2.0.4 is already installed. This is really mind boggling. So now I can go back to the first command that I ran before and then I can see that my web service or web, web, web server, sorry, uh, or web API is already in service and I can test it. So let's go to the browser, open up a browser and go to localhost 8000 and I'm going to go to slash add and then you can see two slash three and then the result is five. This is been Copilot in a nutshell with instructions. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you on the next one.